Hi, I'd like to tell you a little bit about roads or streets in the area. Here you see a two-lane road or street. You have the center lane with the double yellow stripes. That yellow lane denotes that the other side is for oncoming traffic. On the right hand side, the two lanes are separated by a white dotted line. These two lane streets, you'll also come upon intersections. Here, the intersection is regulated by the use of traffic lights. You can see the green left arrow light is on, and the traffic can turn to the left when that arrow is illuminated in green. Other roads or highways have a meridian or a divider, keeping the traffic on the left side separated from that on the right side. There are also one lane roads or streets as you see here. Some of these one lane roads have a turn lane in the center. Traffic can utilize this lane when they need to make a turn to the left. Here in some of the more residential areas intersections are regulated by a traffic sign, the stop sign. Other intersections may have a yield sign. As you can see, cars can park on either side of the road in this neighborhood. And on some roads, you'll also have a bike lane, which is a lane specified for bicyclists. You'll have a variety of roads or streets taking you through residential areas, through downtown sections, and through the middle of heavy traffic or sometimes lighter traffic around busy stores or sometimes in a country road. Here you can see an example of a three-lane road or highway. This also has a median separating the traffic that is on the opposing side. Street lights are also very common, which help illuminate the highway in the hours of darkness. Sometimes you'll see warning signs telling you about an upcoming intersection. That intersection may have a stoplight, or it may have a stop sign. Traffic signs also let you know if a lane is going to merge onto the lane or road that you are currently traveling on. Street signs also help let you know where you're going. Sometimes these street signs are hanging from the top of the traffic lights and sometimes they're on top of a, a road sign that's lower, closer to the street. A wide variety of vehicles can travel on the highways. Small cars, trucks, trucks that are pulling trailers, motorcycles, motorhomes, buses, large trucks. Some highways and streets do have restrictions on what types of vehicles can travel on those highways. There are also signs that denote what the speed limit is. Sometimes the speed limit is during certain hours. For example, when children are near school. Typically in residential areas, the speed limit is slower than when you're on a larger road where it's not as populated and it's safer to drive a little bit faster. Freeways typically have the highest speed limits since the traffic is more regulated and you don't have the option of cars that are cutting across your lane of traffic, making a left-hand turn, or crossing through intersections. Some roads have a wide shoulder onto the right-hand side that allows you to pull off. If you need to consult a map for directions, make a telephone call, 
This also is a useful area and provides ample parking in certain regions. On some smaller residential areas, there may not even be a center line with a dotted white line or a solid yellow line. But the same conventions follow where traffic stays on the right hand side of their road. You'll also see signs telling you when a freeway entrance is approaching. Some lanes may be designated for a turn only lane as opposed to continuing on straight. The freeways have on ramps and off ramps or exits of different types of constructions. If you're driving on the main road, if you have the right-of-way, the intersections of the cross streets or the smaller roads will typically have the stop sign. At times, there will be traffic information not only printed on a traffic sign or a board, but some information will also be printed on the highway. This will let you know if you're in a school zone, a crosswalk, if there's a stop sign coming ahead, railroad crossings. Here's an example of a street sign on both the traffic intersection sign as well as down below by the crosswalk symbol. You can see traffic signs or symbols in a variety of colors which each have their own meaning. For example, some signs are green while others are blue, yellow, red, brown, and there are also some signs that are white. With either the white signs will have either white with red lettering or white and black with a red symbol denoting if you shouldn't make a U-turn or shouldn't make a left turn. Roads and highways can be used by a variety of vehicles. I mentioned train tracks will come through, trolleys. In some areas you'll have subway stations that go below the roads, sometimes up above the highways. Some streets and freeways will have a high occupancy vehicle or HOV lane and these lanes are available to be used if your vehicle meets the minimum required passenger number. Sometimes in some areas that's two or more people in the vehicle, sometimes it's three or more. Also the HOV lanes sometimes have special hours of operation. For example, Monday through Friday, 3 a.m. until 7 a.m. or 4 p.m. until 7 p.m. The HOV lanes may have hours of operation from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. until 7 p.m. and at that time only vehicles meeting 
the minimum required number of passengers can travel in that lane. This helps with eliminating some congestion. Here you have a road taking you by the San Francisco International Airport. There are a lot of useful signs that let you know where you want to stop, what lanes you can park in while your passengers are unloading their baggage. where a crosswalk allows people to walk from one side to the other. Where you can pick up people who are claiming their baggage. and a variety of other useful pieces of information. On freeways, you can have overpasses, underpasses, on-ramps, off-ramps. These are also referred to as exits. Freeways often help you get from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time because they have less intersections actually no intersections, and the traffic flows in the same direction at a higher rate of speed. This isn't true, of course, when there is a heavy amount of construction, for example, due to a car accident or heavy congestion due to the workflow or the traffic of people all going to work at the same time. On a freeway, you can see a lot of signs because you have a lot of different options. You'll have exits that are coming up in a few miles. You'll have exits within a shorter distance. You'll see distances on these exits. How far until the next exit? How far until a rest area? How far until a gas station?
one freeway may connect to another freeway. Sometimes even the traffic on a freeway will slow down or speed up depending on certain conditions. So it's best to stay alert and pay attention to what the traffic around you is doing. You can have construction on freeways, highways, and city streets. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of information about freeways, highways, and streets in the local area. Thank you very much.